plug into the show where the aim of the game is in the name of the game, taking letters and numbers and turning them into words and sums. I'm Richard Moorcroft. Now, say hello to a couple of real character converters. Firstly, number tumbler, Lily Cerner. Hello. And letter resetter, David Astle. <laughs> Hi, Richard. And, of course, not forgetting the reason that we are all here. Our two contestants. First up, our carryover champion, primary school teacher, John O'Connor. Welcome back, John. Thank you, Richard. Now, we were talking last night about your, your earlier years, you know, as a, a cruise ship purser looking after a whole community of people. Well, now you have a littler community with primary school students. Is it really that different? Well, some of the antics that I have to deal with with six- and seven-year-olds don't differ too much to <laughs> some of the adults I have to deal with, yes. This must have been, you know, a relatively late career decision to become a primary school teacher. Are you enjoying the change? Look, I'm offended that you might be saying I'm very old, but um, <laughs> uh, I am very much enjoying it, and yes, it was a late, late decision. <laughs> Great stuff. Well, I hope you enjoy tonight as well. Thank you Great very much. Great to have you back. And tonight's challenger is a personal injury lawyer, Nick Mann. Hello, Nick. Hello, Richard. Now, that personal injury kind of ties in, because you're also studying how law and medicine intersect or interact, aren't you? That's right. There's a lot of medicine in the area of law that I do, and uh, so I've decided to go back to university and... I uh, have another crack at study, and I've uh, just started a Master's in Health and Medical Law. And how often does the law actually intersect with medicine? Well, in personal injury law, it's constantly interacting. Uh, we deal with people who've been injured, and so uh, the law and its relationship with medicine is all important for us. Well, good luck tonight. Great to have you with us. Thank you. So please welcome our carryover champion, John O'Connor, and challenger, Nick Mann. Time to do a little bit of that transforming letters into words. First game of the night and uh, first letters, please, John. May I have a consonant, please? You certainly may. M. And another one, please. T. One more, please. S. And one more, please. D. And a vowel now, please. E. Another one, please. I. One more. E. Okay. Um, a consonant, please. N. And uh, one more vowel, please. And last letter, A. First clock for the night. First letters for the night, John. How did you go? I have an eight, Richard. OK, let's uh, see what you've got, uh, Nick. Uh, I've got a well-cooked seven. <laughs> What's that? Uh, steamed. Steamed. Very nicely cooked indeed. And, uh, John, your eight? Uh, dementia. Dementia. Oh, that's wow. a good find, David. It's an excellent find. A great eight. Uh, good play, uh, John. Uh, now, in fact, dementias could have been uh, pluralised uh, because it is a state of uh, impairment, mental impairment. But quite amazingly, Richard, I have a full Monty here that also relates. How is that? That's, I mean, it's, it's, it's great, but how does it tie in? Well, amnesty, which is to grant a pardon or immunity, actually comes from the Greek for forgetfulness. So amnestied is a nine. Fantastic. Well done, David. A full Monty. Thank you. A great nine-letter word from David and a terrific eight-letter one from John. Next letters for tonight from you, Nick, please. Uh, I'll start with a consonant, please. Sure. Let's start with S. And another, please. B. And another. R. And a vowel, please. E. And another vowel, please. U. And a consonant, please. T. And a vowel, please. O. And a consonant, please. C. And I'll finish with a vowel, please. And last letter, U. Time to think.
you go, Nick? I got a six, Richard. Six for you, John? I also got a six. Let's start with that one. Robust. And yours, Nick? Truces. Happy, David? Good sixes. Well played. Uh, I also noticed that Buster is in there, and it's a word I'll be talking about uh, after the break, in fact. Um, however, there is an eight here, Richard, and it's Coutures. C-O-U-T-U-R-E-S. Very nice bit of fashion. Nicely done. Six each for John and Nick. First numbers of the night coming up now. Six numbers and the basic principles of maths, that's addition, subtraction, division and multiplication, are all that you have to work with to reach that randomly generated target number. Now, John, uh, last night you kind of mixed it up a little bit. You know, you weren't the same with your number combinations all the time. What do you fancy today? Well, I might change it again. I might have, I would think, the family mix of two large and four small, please. Two, two large and four small. Thanks, John. And starting with the smalls, one, three, eight, seven, and the two large, 175. The target to reach is 249. Thank you, Lily. 30 seconds to get there. Go, John. I was seven away, Richard, at 2.56. And Nick? I was six away at 2.43. Oh, just that little bit closer. Well done. Take us on your journey, please. OK. So I had uh, 75 plus one. 75 plus one. Is 76. Multiplied by three. By three is... 2.28. 228. And then I added the eight and the seven to that. Plus the eight and the seven, which is uh, 243. 43. Good work. So you are not that far away, only six off, in fact. How did you go with these ones, Lily? Um, yeah, good. In, in fact, Nick, if you just tweaked a little bit more, uh, instead of adding one, added eight, that would have got you up to 249. So um, 75 plus the eight by the three is uh, 225 plus 24 gives you 249. Oh, that is a beautiful bit of tweakage. Straight there, Lily, well done. But well done to Nick, he scored five points. So we are on 11 for Nick and John has 14 as we head for our first break and your first word mix for tonight. Piano Dot. The clue this time, Angelina Jolie is committed to this. Back shortly.